Welcome, to the Corp Vault channel. In this video, we will discuss data interface bear, dip. Please, like, share, comment or suggest. Subscribe for more videos, and, you can follow us on Instagram. Using data interface bear, dip, you can configure, a dedicated backup network. A client computer can have multiple network interfaces, when it has multiple network interface cards installed. If you have more than one client with multiple interfaces, you can create DIPs, to create dedicated backup network. A dedicated backup network, improves performance by routing backup traffic through a network interface, that is different than the default interface, that is, the one specified during installation. You can configure a dedicated backup network by setting up a data interface bear, also called a network bear. A DIP requires that both host computers in the bear have a network interface name that was not used during the software installation process. You can set up a DIP between two clients, between a client group and a client, or between two client groups. There are various scenarios for creating DIPs. Examples would be, in a scenario where, data traffic can be conducted through the backup domain, to reduce the network traffic on the production domains. Or, the client computer and the media agent computers, are located in a different city than the conserve computer. In this scenario, communication can be made more efficient by adding a third domain, and defining a data interface pair, between the client and the media agent. Or, all of the infrastructure components reside within the same domain. Adding a data interface pair between client and media agent, results in more efficient network communication. There are different ways to create a data interface pair. Right click on a client computer, select properties. Client computer properties window. Select advanced. Advanced Client Properties window. Job Configuration tab. Data Interface Pairs. You can add, delete, and edit DIP from here. Click Add. Data Interface Pair Wizard. Using this window we create DIP. Let's check the other way of creating Data Interface Pair. Click Cancel on all the open windows. From the Home menu. Select Control Panel. Under Data, you have Data Interface Pairs. Select, Data Interface Pairs. Data Interface Pairs Wizard. Read the notes carefully. Once done, click Next. Select the computers for which you want to define, Data Interface Pairs. Select First Computer. From the drop-down list, select the first computer. You can select a client, or a media agent, come serve or a client computer group. We have selected a client computer. From select a second computer, pick a desired entry from the list. Let's select media agent. Once done, click next. Here you see the client name, and the host name, in other words, fully qualified domain name, that was used during agent install. Ideally, if the host name is configured properly in the DNS, and is being resolved properly, then you do not need to create DIP. Do also note, improper host file entries also cause communication issues, or conflicts. Click Add. By default, Comvault would pick the correct IPs, unless there are conflicts, caused by multiple NICs configured on the client machine. If there are multiple NICs configured, then you see them listed here, pick the right one from the list. And if only one NIC is configured, then you see only one entry listed. Once done, click Next. You see the created DIP listed and enabled. Use these to edit, delete, or add more entries, only if required. Once done, click Next. Review the created DIP, and click Finish. If you wish to create another DIP, click Yes, if not, click No. Let's create a DIP between a client group, and media agent. Under first computer selection, 
From the available list, select the client group. For second computer, select media agent from the list. Once done, click next. As you see, for the client group, there is no default interface, as client group is group of computers, and not just one. Click add. There is no IP listed for client group. Select the appropriate IP for the second computer. Once done, click next. Created DIP is active and listed. So, in our example all client computers part of SQL admin group, communicate with the media agent using this IP, and host name is no longer used. Click next. Review the DIP, and click finish. We have no more DIPs to create, so selecting no. Creation of DIPs completed. There is one other way to bind all Comvault services, to a specified interface name or IP address. Right click on client computer. Select properties. From client computer properties window, select advanced. Advanced client properties window. Let's first review the created DIP. Job configuration tab. Created DIP is listed here. You can change the status of all DIPs, using this option, to either disable all, or enable all. You can also edit the entry from here. Additional settings tab. Click add. Search for, S bind to interface. This additional setting, in other words, registry key, allows you to bind all services, example, client event manager, communications service, etc., to the specified interface name, or IP address. This is especially useful for dual NIC setups, where you do not want these services exposed on the public interface. Enter the IP address here. Once you click OK, the registry key is created on the client computer. There is one more key called, unbind to loopback, which is available from Convault release 11.20 and later. This key, forces services to listen on loopback interfaces, so that services ports are reachable only from local machine. Let's see the report, using which you can list all the created dips in a cell. Select reports menu. Select any option to launch the report selection window. Under ComServe, select, ComCell Configuration. General tab. Uncheck all the unwanted selected options. Select, Data Interface Pairs. You can leave rest all tabs, as is. For this video, we are including all sub-client information, but this is purely optional. Output tab. Select the desired output format. For this video, we leave default HTML. Click Run, to generate the report. You see the request for ComCell configuration report, has been submitted. You also see the job ID, which should be visible in the job controller. Reporting job completed successfully. Here you see all the data interface pairs created in this com cell. Just to let you know, you can add, or delete data interface pairs, using XML files, that are run from the command line on the ComServe computer. We will end this video here. Stay tuned for more videos, by subscribing to our channel, if not already done so. Do subscribe for more videos.